Prasaga has created a new blockchain infrastructure, the Saga chain, that addresses the scalability of the consensus algorithm, the sharding of the smart contract architecture and cryptocurrency to incentivize miners and that is used for transactions rather than just to store of value. Saga chain addresses these three aspects with a distributed proof of work for scalability, extensive blockchain object model for parallelization and the Saga coin financial model for cryptocurrency. Hi everyone, my name is Rico Richardson and in this video it's time to talk about Prasaga. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and join my telegram to be updated on the latest crypto projects like Prasada. Now this is another very technical project and I'll try to explain it as simple as possible. But before we do, let's first have a look at the timeline they have drawn out for us on all things that have happened in a digital space. In 1989, AOL introduced consumers to the concept of internet connectivity and in the 90s, the internet boom happened by the first consumer-based internet browser. The first one was Mosaic and the second one was Netscape Navigator. Then in 1994, AT&T's personal link innovated the concept of all web-based services, founding the concept for today's cloud-driven internet. And in 2006, it was Amazon Web Services who introduced their cloud storage service. It became the storage supplier to services like Pinterest and Dropbox. After introducing the Amazon Web Services, the shopping cart was invented, empowering things like e-commerce and logistics. Then, in 2008, it was Satoshi Nakamoto who wrote the white paper for Bitcoin and the first block of Bitcoin was mined in 2009, which led to the birth of decentralized technology as we know today. Ethereum, on the other hand, had its first smart contract block in 2015 and enabled decentralized apps and trustless peer-to-peer -peer transactions without third-party certification. Similarly, to the impact of load balancing on the WWW, in the early 2000s, sharding gains traction in blockchain communities seeking innovations in scaling and throughput solutions. The year 2019 saw the creation of second layer to solve the inefficiencies and throughput challenges of Gen 1 single layer solutions, which leaves one final step, which is today. Prasaga introduces the first ever global operating system that enables smart assets. In opposed to other solutions touting global network claims, Prasaga moves the core root classes onto the blockchain, allowing global naming and code inheritance. So how is smart contracts different from smart assets, you may ask? Well, smart contracts cannot be moved between shards on layer one. Smart assets solves this by moving state into account, eliminating smart contracts and allowing movement of accounts in all associated states from shard to shard. With a global operating system, consumers can now control an account on the blockchain which is identified by a global unique ID. This means simply your life and all transactions and data is only accessible if the owner gives specific approval, eliminating the need for intermediaries in any transactions between accounts. Now before we move on to the next part of this video, let's take a quick break and thank today's sponsor which is Solidow. They have asked me to do this video after succeeding on a private sale of Prasaga. Saga. I'll be sure to link their Discord and Telegram in the description for you to check it out. Joining them will give you the possibility to join in on private sales and be super early when it comes to new projects. Also, please keep in mind I'm not a registered financial advisor. My videos are meant to be educational and entertaining only. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's look at the problem and solutions. So Prasaga sees four different problems with smart contracts on the blockchain. Smart contracts aren't scalable on open blockchains, they are not dynamic and you can't easily create them because the code isn't directly available for future use. And then finally, the cost of development are very, very high. Now for each of those problems, they present solutions. Smart contracts are being replaced with smart assets, which are secure and programmable microtransactions at a commercial scale. The reuse of that code will allow for a much faster deployment of apps and with parallel processing. They will enable throughput and scale for an efficient global commerce. And then finally, a decentralized blockchain and operating system that enables unlimited scaling without compromising security. Now they basically want to increase efficiency by reducing capital expenses and improve trust by being transparent. They also want to innovate and create new markets while at the same time improve the cybersecurity and thus reduce the risk. Now, Prasaga focuses on businesses and governments, developers, miners and validators, and digital pioneers. And this can be anything from supply chain to banking, Web3 entrepreneurs to cryptologists, 
and many more. So regardless of which field you're in, all of these solutions can apply to you. The goal with all of this is to build a global community of developers, businesses, miners, and token holders by empowering developers to build on Saga OS, to reward those that mine on and validate the network, reinventing businesses and the government, and finally engage digital pioneers. The collaborative ecosystem will finance profitable developer ecosystems to increase the Saga chain transaction volume. Now the brains behind Prasaga have been part of an international consortium and standards bodies for decades and have worked with companies like Bosch, Dell, IBM and SAP. Right, so they have a token as well, like many other projects of course, and the ticker for that for the moment is DGT. It has a projected token supply of what I'm about to say right here, I tried to pronounce it but... I couldn't do it by the year 11. And in, the, in their white paper, there's a whole thorough explanation on the tokenomics and what it's based on. And usually I always address that in my videos, but for now it's too extensive. So I'll be sure to link the white paper down below and you can have a read about the tokenomics yourself. It's far more complicated than most other projects. So the team and founders take 12.3% and the advisors 1.3. So that's a combined total of only 13.6 and the reason I'm saying only is because I've seen numbers of 20% or more in other projects so I'm very pleased with these numbers myself. Now the team and advisors will get a combined total release on TGE of 384 million tokens and then they have a very long cliff because the team won't be getting anything for two years and after that they will have tokens released every year and for the advisors it's every 12 months. So that shows that the team is in it for the long run and that's always good to see. And speaking of the team, the team consists of three founders with the CEO of Prasaga being Michael Holtman who has a lot of experience in the field of Internet of Things and smart cities. They also have an executive team of six people and seven industry advisors and 10 blockchain advisors. So there are a lot of people on board with this project and all of them can be found on the website with a small introduction to who they are and what they've done. Now their roadmap is an interesting one because their journey started in 2017 and highlights milestones through the third quarter of this year. They want to launch the mainnet and have the consensus governance fiscal policy and the Internet of Things message server launched as well. So they're almost there with their work over the past few years paying off. So if you'd like to learn more about crypto projects, please click that playlist over there. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. And until next time, doei!